Wiki. Build knowledge together. If you've ever gone to Wikipedia to look something up, you might have noticed that you can actually edit the page. You can add information to it because it is a wiki which is collaboratively created and edited. Moodle has a wiki too, which you could set up for your learners, for instance, to do a group project, doing some research, or to write a combined essay. To add a wiki, we go to our course page and we turn the editing on. Then in the section where we want our wiki, we click Add an activity or resource. This brings up the activity chooser. Scrolling down, we'll see wiki in the activity list. And if we click once, we get some information giving useful teaching ideas about a wiki and then we can click the Add button at the bottom or we can click twice to get straight to the setup screen. The name is important because it's what the students will see on the page to access it. And you can then give a description of what you want them to do with the wiki and you can tick the box display description on course page. Normally, a wiki would be group work, collaborative. But you can, by changing the drop-down menu here, have an individual wiki and then each student would have their own copy, for instance as a personal notebook. We are going to keep it as collaborative, however, and the next thing to do is to choose the first page name, and this must be carefully thought out because it cannot then be altered. There are other settings, but for now we just go to Save and Display and get our wiki started. You see now that we press a button to create this page. If you don't understand any of the other formats, just leave it as default, it's absolutely fine. And we now have our first page of the wiki. To set up links to make up the other pages, you put double square brackets around the name you want to give the page. So here are a couple of examples. And this is how your learners would also make new pages on the wiki. When we scroll down and save it, we see that we have links, but these aren't yet pages until we actually click onto them and create those pages in the same way that we made the first page. So if we click on the reading link, we're then prompted to create that page and we can start adding information to it. This is how your students would then add text and information to a new page too. Now if we scroll down and save that page, we can take a look at some of the other links in a wiki. If we look at the tabs at the top, map takes us to pages which have been created and we can access them from there. Currently we only have two pages. History is a useful way of the other learners and the teacher seeing who has changed what on the wiki and in case of any problems that's a handy page to go and revert changes. And if enabled, comments allows you to see and add comments to the wiki.